Hey, let's finish this boxy charm box of wonders part two. This guy is from that brand Zoeva. This is their matte Voyager palette. It's one of the minis, only has six pans. It's great for travel or for your purse. And I always like the graphics inside their little things. And you know, it's warm nudes for me. I love it. And uh, I think he was five bucks, six bucks. Can't complain. Next, this one is from, because that guy was from actual Boxy Drop Shop. This here, the even better clinical, broad spectrum SPF 25 foundation. Oh, he's a bit dark. Oh, he's very dark. Shade 104, toffee, medium warm, warm neutral. He is wicked dark for me. We're going to have to wear him in the summer. He was on sale $10 off, so we tried him, but we might need to um, return him because he is, again, wicked effing dark. How do we how do we open him? Oh, he's he's a squirt top. Oh, oh, he's a dabber. A little dabble, do you? I'm not a lefty. This is not going to work. Let's see how dark he is. You know what? I'm not even going to touch this. I'm going to take the little bit like the nail polish that's over there. Uh, I look like I have black face on. That's horrifying. Either that or I'm not sure what my skin tone is. Like, I don't know. Maybe we can exchange him for something else. Because, I mean, I'm not really, like, I'm just cleaning up the edge of the jar. I'm not contaminating anything. And as you can tell, he's wicked dark. Look at that. I look horrifying. He's too dark for me. Well, we know he needs to go back. Maybe we'll just send him back and be done with it. We already made our rouge level for the year. So, I like the formula. It feels very nice. Just feels wicked friggin' dark. Because, again, I'm not this color. Not all colors were on sale, which was kind of sucky. Because my thing is, you should make them all on sale. Because people who are certain skin tones shouldn't get the, the deal for 10 bucks off and nobody else. You know what I mean? So, this is the closest one to me. Which is obviously not close. Maybe I could buff it out and shear it out. But that kind of defeats the point. Okay, Donut. I love the Violet Voss palettes, all of them. This is a mini, and this is in the shade Donut. One of my girlfriends, Danielle, has this. And uh, at first I was like, eh, I could take or leave this one. But now that I have it, I'm like, it's kind of cute. Because that blue looks a little more purple, which makes it go with the pinks better. And then um, I'm kind of in love with the shimmer shades, because especially this white shimmer, he's kind of duochrome, trichrome. Yeah, basically he's iridescent... Um, Whatchamacallit, iridescent unicorn poop. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's normally run 18. I don't remember if I got him. No, I got him for $9 at whatchamacallit. Who's he, what's it? Drop Shop. Okay, this one I definitely know I got at Drop Shop. The Aether Beauty Desert Sunset Palette. They had a deal to get two for 29 or one for 18. I checked with my girlfriend to see if she wanted one because I would have gotten it for her as a birthday thing and then we could have just split them. But she didn't. What I also love is that this card, they always come with some sort of like tarot card. So, yeah. These are the colors with the names on the back. I always love the slightly 3D design. And it has information inside instead of a mirror. And look at these colors. They're kind of like the colors in the um, Sultry palette, but oh, so much better because... Instead of just having one warm one, like that bright coral, you've got this peachy, shimmery one in addition to these other um, neutrals. So I'm very much looking forward to this. And you know what? I am going to take out these cards and start putting them in my Magpie Tarot deck. Because you know why? Reasons, man. Thank you, Allie, man. Seven Peterson, you're the best. You've, you've made my dreams come true with the Allie Band deck. When I finally get it, I'm going to love it. I'm going to do a whole post on it. Okay, the last thing I have up in here is something I had seen briefly on Ipsy, missed it, was pissed. Then I saw it for $5 on Boxy. So I said, oh, yeah, let's get it. And this is the Illumina Illuminati X Isa by Isabel Bedoya. So it's a collab palette. So um, I do like Illuminati stuff. I have a lot of their four-pan palettes. This is just plastic. And I had high hopes for this. But I think the colors fall a little flat in person. Like that purple dream that's iridescent, that has some promise. But like the green looks like it almost has a little gray undertone. The purple haze falls a little on the pale side, like too much white in it. So I don't know how it's going to look. 1996, the gold. That looks like it's going to be awesome. 
but um, Izzy looks like a pressed glitter. I don't do pressed glitter because I have sensitive eyes. That's a contact lens wearer. Purple Dream looks like it wants to be a pressed glitter, but I'm not sure. The rest are kind of average. Azul has a nice, like, ultramarine two-tone shimmer silver thing going on. I don't know. It could work out to be awesome. It could suck. But for five bucks, I'm not too pissed. Okay, so that is the contents of this box. I will see you people later. And, of course, since I've taped it, this means I can bring it upstairs and integrate it into the collection. But, of course, I have to leave out that foundation that looks like crap on me. Okay, sorry. I got a call from my aunt, and I had to decline the call because nobody has timing in my family. But peace out, peeps. Catch me next video when I do yet another box of BS. Peace out. Creepy chow kiss.